When you're building your YouTube channel, you definitely want to be telling people about it everywhere. And how would it be if you had one easy to remember URL that you could share that would not only send people to your YouTube channel, but ask them to subscribe in just one click. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you a simple way to get this set up for your business right now. G'day guys, I'm Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing and I'm here to help you engage your ideal audience to action through effective online video strategy. And that's what we do on this channel. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and then the bell so that you don't miss any new video as it releases here on the channel. So as I said, if you're working to build your YouTube channel, then you can't keep quiet about it. You need to be actively directing people to go and check out your YouTube channel. But chances are you're probably just asking people to go to youtube.com and search for your channel name to try and find your channel. And then you just ask them once they get there to hit that subscribe button. But there is a more effective way and in the next few minutes I'm going to show you exactly how to do this to make this process not only easy but also absolutely on brand and trackable so you can see how many people are actually using this way to get to your YouTube channel. So let's go. So for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to assume that you're working with a website based on the WordPress platform. The powerful thing about WordPress is you can download and install plugins, many of them free. And the plugin that I want you to install on your WordPress site in this particular case is a plugin called Pretty Links. Now Pretty Links, you can find it at this URL on the screen here. Once you've installed Pretty Links, and yes, you can pay for the pro version, but for the purpose of what we're doing here, the free version is absolutely fine. So what Pretty Links allows you to do is to set up a branded redirect link on your domain. So if it's www.yourdomain.com slash link, whatever you want to call it, or in my case for my YouTube channel, engagevideomarketing.com slash YouTube will take you to my YouTube channel. And this is how I want you to use Pretty Link. So the next step, once you've got Pretty Link set up, is actually to head on over to your YouTube channel. Once you're on your YouTube channel, all you want to do is to take the URL of your channel name. You can do that by making sure that you're on your channel page, the front page of your channel, and then looking in the URL section of the browser that you're currently in. You should see something like youtube.com slash C slash whatever your channel name is. That might be a string of numbers or it might be an actual channel name. You want to take everything from that channel URL that is before the query or the question mark. Anything after the question mark is a URL parameter, so you don't want to be copying that right now. So what I want you to do is to actually copy that and paste it into some kind of a notes platform, just somewhere, anywhere where you can edit the text. Once you've pasted it there, I want you to append or add the following onto the end of your channel URL. And it's on the screen here, but it's question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one. Now this is a YouTube URL parameter that when someone goes to your YouTube channel with that parameter in place, YouTube's going to prompt them to subscribe to your channel as soon as they land on that channel page. Now they don't have to, it's not forcing them to subscribe to your channel page, but when prompted, people are likely to click yes and subscribe to your channel page. So what I want you to do then is to copy that appended URL into your clipboard and then head on over to the back end of your WordPress website. Click on the Pretty Links plugin and then click on Add New. It's in this section that you can title your Pretty Link and then leave the redirection at 307 temporary and in the target URL section you're going to paste in that appended YouTube URL with the sub-confirmation parameter added on. Then in the next section, you're going to choose what the actual shortened URL is going to be. So in this case, you can see my domain there, engagevideomarketing.com, and I'm going to change that to slash YouTube. And that then becomes the pretty link that I'm able to use when encouraging people to go and visit my YouTube channel and to subscribe. So there you go, that's it. Super simple and something if you haven't got set up yet, I strongly encourage you to do. And then remember, every time that you're shouting out for people to go and check out your YouTube channel, make sure to use that pretty link, engagevideomarketing.com slash YouTube. Go there now if you haven't done that and I'd love you to hit that subscribe button as well. And if you found that video useful, I'd love you to hit that like button and then head on over to this video next where I share more about video strategy to help you grow your business. And I'll see you in that one.